This is the Let's Roll Podcast with your host, Double R. Yeah, baby, it's Double R, the host that rolls the most, and this is the Let's Roll Podcast. May the fourth be with you on this glorious Star Wars day. Yes, hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about Star Wars. We're going to talk about the movies, the TV shows, the dark side, the force, all of it. That and much more in this episode right after this. All right, guys, let's talk about Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars, for me, started back in 1977 with episode four, A New Hope, the Star Wars, Star Wars, New Hope. So um, I don't remember going to the theater, seeing this movie actually in the theater. Uh, I could totally be wrong, but I don't remember. I would have been seven or eight when this movie came out. Uh, if it came out before June or before June 13th, I would have been seven. Um, so what I liked about Star Wars, the first time I saw it, and again, I don't think I saw it for the first time in 1977. It might have been years later when it came out on maybe TV or VHS or whatever like that. Um, I liked it. Uh, um, I liked Star you know, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader. Uh, I've watched it several times since. Now, I am not the biggest uh, Star Wars fanatic. Like, I can not give into all the lore and all that. But as far as the original trilogy, which started off with New Hope, and then it was followed by Star Wars Episode Five in 1980. And I, again, I would have been 10 or 11 when that movie came out. Uh, the famous movie where Darth Vader told Luke, I'm no father. Now, I will say this, and, and I should have said this at the beginning, there's going to be spoilers in here for some things. So if you haven't seen it, I'm sorry. But yes, New Hope was followed by Le- uh, The Empire Strikes Back. And then it was followed by uh, Episode Six, The Return of the Jedi. So those, those are the th- three films and the original trilogy. Um, and do they hold up today? To a degree, yes. Some people will find the campiness or the quality uh, of the movie now as not very good, but it was good for the time. And, it, and some of the special effects um, things that they did back then were kind of unheard of. And, and, you know, as we know nowadays, Technology and the way you do things gets better and better in movies as the decades and the years go by. So George Lucas was he the uh, person that created the 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 first we say the first trilogy. Now, as far as the order of movies, the this the first trilogy was actually the middle trilogy, but he started with that first. Then, um. Later, he came out with the uh, prequel uh, trilogy, and that, that consists of Episode One, The Phantom Menace, uh, that came out in 1999, and uh, Episode Two, Attack of the Clones, came out in 2000, and then we had Episode Three, Revenge of the Sith, in 2012. Now, what I will say about the prequels were it's kind of jar- jarring. Because the quality, the the way they could film things by the time these movies came out were way, way beyond what he started with. And so they don't really match up as far as what they were able to do in the in in, in the the first trilogy that came out versus the prequel trilogy. Now as far as the individual movies go, Phantom Menace was okay. Um and it's kind of boring, to be honest with you. Tech, Tech of the Clones was really boring because it had too much of a, what everybody likes to gripe about, too much of a love story in in those. And I'm not going to break down each movie and what happened in it, but basically uh, I'll just give little little spurts. Uh, Phantom Menace introduces us to Anakin Skywalker, which would later become Darth Vader. Uh, in episode two, his relationship with Padme is kind of the center of it, in, in a sense. Um, I mean, there's more story to that, but there was a lot paid to that 
that relationship and that love story that could have been not been so heavy into. That's just my personal opinion. Episode three, Revenge of the Sith, I probably would say out of these three movies was my favorite. Um, there's a lot of quotable lines in there. Um, uh, and this is where Anakin becomes Darth Vader in this, in this movie. So then after these came out in 2012, Lucas has sold his production company to Disney, relinquishing ownership to the franchise. This led to a, to a sequel trilogy, which gave us episode seven, The Force Awakens, episode eight, The Last Jedi, and episode nine, The Rise of Scar Skywalker. So Force Awakens came out in 2015, Last Je Jedi came out in 2017, and The Rise of Skywalker came out. 2019. What do I think of this trilogy? The only one I like is Force Awakens. After that, the movies went too far away from what fans, that I believe that fans liked about the Star Wars, you know, movies and the story. So, with that being said, really the only one I liked was Force Awakens, which, yes, brought back a lot of fan favorites in that movie, gave us that nostalgia, um, and then the last, and, and, and it set up some things that The Last Jedi didn't carry over into. And I think that's really what fans of Star Wars, and I'll see the casual fan, fans, I'm not going to say the diehard fans, because they they really get into everything and they'll nitpick it to death. Um, but the casual fans, it just didn't bring enough over from The, the Force Awakens. Now, uh, Force Awakens was uh, directed by uh, um, shit. What's his name? Abrams, and he he directed that one, uh, Force Awakens, and the Rise of Skywalker, and then a total different director uh, directed the Last Jedi. Like I said, I mean, it, 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 this this sequel trilogy is not as good. And what was funny is when the prequel series trilogy came out. One, two, and three. Everybody hated on those. Like it, 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 it sucked. It, it was bad. Blah blah blah. Then along come the sequel trilogy, and I think at least two of those movies took the place of the prequel. And people will go back and look at the prequels now and go, "Well, are they still bad movies?" Well, depending on what your definition is bad is. Is it bad as in quality? Is it bad in storytelling? Um, it might be a combination of both, but they are better than the last three. And that's where we left off with movies. So there's nine movies total, except if you want to consider one more movie, there would be ten, because Rogue One was a standalone movie that can fit between... Um, it basically can fit between episode three and episode four. And it can kind of continue the story... Or gives you some um, what happened right before the beginning of episode four. Excuse me. So you could put Rogue One in there. And then they made one other standalone movie, which was uh, Solo. Uh, and it was a story, I mean, with the character uh, Han Solo, played by a different actor, a younger actor. So, and then as far as other movies that are possibly coming out, uh, there's a Rogue One, a Rogue, not Rogue One, Rogue uh, Squadron movie planned, and and then there's some other ones. That, uh, there's even another independent trilogy that could come out. So, um, so the Star Wars has, like I said, basically nine movies with the uh, uh, Luke Skywalker or Skywalker, uh, uh, we'll call it storyline. Um, and then there was multiple, uh, prequels to, to the story, like with Clone Wars, like Clone Wars, and then the, uh, the, the Clone Wars, there was Rebels, there was the Resistance, Bad Batch, uh, a lot of these can be seen on Disney Plus now, so, and then we got three, uh, so far we're gonna get three, uh, series for Star Wars, and that, that we've got The Mandalorian, which is very good series, 
Um, and that introduced us to what we started calling at first Baby Yoda, but it's a Yoda species, but it's not Yoda. Then we, with from The Mandalorian, we got the book of Boba Fett. And then coming out at the end of this month will be the Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, and then Andor is also, and then it says the Acolytes and Lando are potential um, projects that have come out. So that is all the movies that have come out. The ones I like, don't like. Um, let's talk about, you know, some of the toys and stuff like that right after this. So I have, I had off the top of my head when I was younger, I had the Death Star play set. I had a, I guess a 12 inch a uh, doll of Luke Skywalker. I had a bunch of little action figures. I had the Land Speeder. Uh, I believe that's all I had. I might have had an X Wing. Um, so those are the toys that I had. And I'm, there's a buku of toys out there. And I wish I had my friend here, uh, Ariachi, uh, from a previous episode. Uh, he's a toy collector and he could probably talk to about a little bit more about Star Wars toys. But Unfortunately, it's just me doing this episode. So, that's what I remember about toys. Um, going back to the movies, though, um, I really liked Empire Strikes Back, and I like Revenge of the Sith. Those two movies are probably my favorite Star Wars movies. Um, as far as the trilogies go, I would say the four, five, and six were my favorite trilogy followed by the prequel uh, trilogy, and then that followed by the sequel trilogy. Um, Who are my favorite characters uh, in Star Wars? Well, obviously, I like Luke Skywalker, CP3O. I like all the main ones. Uh, As far as my favorite, I love all those. Uh, I'm like most people. I like Darth Vader, but not because he's a bad guy. He was just kind of cool. Now, Here's something that I always thought, like, why did they make such a big deal about him? Was Boba Fett. Boba Fett really didn't do anything in the movies. Like, like there was no big action scene. There was nothing that really said he was badass to me that I remember. But, man, people just love Boba Fett. And I always wanted, you know, a movie or a TV show, blah, blah. Well, then we finally get a TV show. And they start crapping all over the TV show because... Well, he's not the Boba Fett that we wanted, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, basically, what it is is that the Mandalorian is more of a Boba Fett TV show that they wanted than the actual Boba Fett series, TV show. I don't know why I call it a TV show. It's like bad habit. Like, if it ain't on the big screen, it's a TV show. But, let's be honest, it's not a TV show. It's a streaming show. It's on a streaming service. And you don't necessarily watch streaming services on your TV. A lot of people do, but a lot of people don't. So, um, but yeah, their 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 big complaint was the Boba Fett show was not a Boba Fett show. There was nothing about Boba Fett, and so I I I kind of I kind of got it, you know. Um, Execute order sixty six. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do for the last uh, the the uh, last uh, trilogy. 66 that ass because that that ugh. like i said force awakens is the only one out of that trilogy that i really like um i have some sounds that i've been you know got on my mixer that i can play with i find your lack of faith disturbing i know you do i know you find it like my lack of faith disturbing um let's see what which which do i uh identify force or dark side well, that's kind of messed up for me because I'm a Gemini, so I guess I have a little force and I have a little dark side. Um, I would probably say I try to live more more for the force than I do for the dark, uh, just because I, I want to be a good person and do good, do good things. Now, let's talk about Ray from the last uh, trilogy and how everybody was speculating who she was related to. And I think this is where they, they went they went wrong with it. And the only reason they had to do it this way 
was because of the director's decision in um what was it? I don't you know uh The Last Jedi. In that movie, that particular director put didn't really carry anything over from the Force Awakening Awakens. So the Ray character, what you set up in the Force Awakens, in the next movie they didn't carry any of that over and they put you in a position that, okay, well, you gotta answer the question, who are her parents? And I will say this, I was very disappointed in one way to find out who her parents were, but in another way I was like, okay, well, that's a twist. Um, you know, and again, I'm not going to necessarily say what the twist was because I know people haven't, there's a lot of people that haven't seen these movies and who knows if they ever will, but, um, but there's a twist that will kind of make you either mad or it'll make you like, okay, that's a different way of going with it. But the biggest problem was just that they didn't really keep what they set up in Force Awakens and carried it over. And it, it was just bad as far as I can put uh, so Rogue One, that movie that I said that could be stuck between uh, episode three and episode four of the movies, um, I really liked. I liked the fact that it kind of bridged bridge the two movies together. Now, technically, they don't say, you know, that it's part of the cho- or part of the, the nine films, but if you put it in there, it makes it ten films, and, and it doesn't mess up anything. It carries on the story. So I find that, you know... Kind of cool, and I liked it. Um, what does Star Wars mean to me? I don't know. Star Wars means to me it's a great franchise, a lot of great characters, memorable lines, iconic lines. Um, I I enjoy the movies. I enjoy the TV series or the streaming series now and look forward for Obi-Wan Kenobi to come out because I think that'll be kind of interesting. Um, do I think the series or the streaming series are good. Uh, I like The Mandalorian a lot. I like aspects or maybe certain episodes of uh, Book of Boba Fett. Of course, we haven't seen the new one yet. Only one Kenobi, so we haven't seen that. Um, I would also say one of my fav- favorite characters is Yoda. Yoda was cool to me. I like Yoda and I like the way he docked backwards and stuff like that. So, But today is May the 4th be with you, Star Wars Day. Everybody out there celebrating it, may the 4th be with you. Or if you like, may the dark side be with you, whoever. Whichever side you file on is cool with me. Uh, I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all get out and see the Obi-Wan, uh, or not get out to see it, but I hope y'all get to see Obi-Wan series when it comes out uh, at the end of the month. Um, I know that I'm going to see Dr. Strange uh, on Thursday. So that's what I'm doing Thursday. Also have an episode coming out on May the 5th uh, or May the 6th. Sorry. Is it May the 5th or May the 6th? Uh, let's see. Hang on one second. I want to make sure I get this right. Uh, it's May the 6th. May the 6th is uh, Witchbone Day. So that episode will come out on May the 6th. And it's about osteogenesis and perfecta. And Witchbone Day is a, a day to... Uh, bring awareness to osteogenesis imperfecta and also the now this won't be an episode but may the 7th is blue jeans for better better bones day which is also another uh campaign that is uh help bring awareness to osteogenesis imperfecta so look for that episode on uh the wishbone day day uh episode on may 6th and then within the comments and the description, there will be links that you can donate and help support Osteogenesis and Perfecta. Well, with that being said, I wish I would have had more to say about Star Wars, and I was hoping to have a, a guest with me to do this episode, but unfortunately it did not work out. But that's okay. Maybe we can revisit this subject down the line. Um, but with that being said, as always, until next time, let's roll. Hey, this is T. Rich, and you listen to the Let's Roll Podcast with Double R. Make sure you follow us on all social media. Find the links in the description below or at the Let's Roll Podcast.com. I've just about had enough of you.